Hello everyone, welcome to the Chinese language learn Cantonese verbs for beginners. Um, today I am going to go over some of the uh, essential verbs that you would need to learn for the Cantonese language. If you have not done so already, I highly recommend you to download our mobile app called Cantonese Phrases Beginners 1. This app contains flashcards, quizzes, lecture notes for various learning modules that pertains to the very beginner in the Cantonese language. The app is completely free and it works on both iPhone and Android. So now let's get started. Um, this verb is called to go. So on the uh, left hand side you would see the kanji for this verb. So this verb, what is used for, um, I would think everybody would know that. So if I want to go somewhere, I'm going somewhere, um, uh, you would use this uh, verb. So um, in Cantonese, it is pronounced hoi. So again, in uh, Cantonese, it is pronounced hoi. Now, uh, I have provided the um, English pronunciation here. Um, it, I would say it might be a bit hard if you rely on these letters, but it is possibly the, the best possible example that I could provide. Um, so bear with me here. Um, so now HU, um, instead of pronouncing who, uh, I would... Um, Say it's her, her, and then with the last trailing I, so you would have to pronounce the E sound in the in the end. So hey, hey. So um, yeah, when you pronounce it a bit faster, you would probably pronounce it as hey, which is the uh, the pronunciation for the Cantonese verb to go. So an example would be, um, as I provided here, is hoi kao man. Again, hoi kao man. So, uh, what is kao man? Well, kao man means shopping. So, um, this verb is meant to go shopping. For the verb can, so, um, Let's, for example, I can talk, I can walk, I can play. The verb can uh, in uh, Cantonese kanji is what you see on the left side. And how is it pronounced? Um, well, in Cantonese, it is pronounced ho yi. So, as you see here, it's a special one. Um, you actually got two separate kanjis. So. The first kanji, which is from if you know if uh, you know how to read um, kanji in uh, Chinese, is usually from uh, left hand side to right hand side, um, and uh, so the first kanji on the left is pronounced ho, and then uh, the second kanji, uh, which is the right uh, uh, kanji, is pronounced yi. So. In 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 uh, the whole um, verb is pronounced ho yi. So um, I have the English representation on your right hand side. Um, now h o uh, in this case doesn't pronounce ho as in ho 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 in uh, for uh, Santa Claus. Um, it's uh, more or less uh, uh, have o pronounced a sound. So, um, if, if you have H-O in this case, we pronounce ha, ha. So, um, 
uh, together, we would have um, the, the, the verb as a whole, he. Now, an example is, um, this is a very simple one, and uh, you, you might have seen this kanji before. Um, so the whole example is called all ho yi, which in English means I can. Again, as in my um, last lecture for the introduction of to be and to have, um, uh, last time I said uh, uh, the negation, it's not necessary uh, a verb, but it's just a, uh, um, a description of the verb that uh, I'm not doing or I, I, uh, I didn't go. Um, that negation. Same as for this example, is more for um, describing a verb in the past tense. So um, if, let's say, I went, I did, um, those kinds, so you're, you're, you're actually describing um, stuff that uh, happened in um, the past. So um, on usually you would have it um, after the verb. So if, if I would say um, uh, I, I went, you would have um, the verb go, which is part of the slide that I've produced before. Um, you would have a, 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 what go is in Cantonese is hoi, right? So in, in, in this case, um, for completed, um, uh, we would pronounce jaw, jaw. So uh, it would be pronunciation of um, T S O, and then with an extension of the O sound. Um, so, uh, as I said earlier in the previous slide, uh, I I would like you to pronounce O as in aw, aw. So now um, you would have uh, the pronunciation of jaw for this. So as I said, uh, um, we have the verb called go in this lesson, right? And it's pronounced hoi, right? So if, if we said we went, it'll be hoi jo. So we would attach this, uh, this uh, kanji um, after any of the verbs that we want for past actions. So for example, um, the one that uh, I provided in this slide, now the verb here is something that we we'll learn. We will learn in the later lessons, but this is uh, the verb for to do. So uh, the overall example is called all zhong zhong, means I did. Okay, so now this um, verb is uh, will or would. So let's say I will go to school or I will play tennis um, that will now uh, uh, some some of you might uh, uh, use the verb before well, for I would but this is not the case so you won't add jaw in the end um, this is one of those exceptions as there are many to be found in the Cantonese languages however for negation um, like let's say uh, that uh, mm, that I've uh, taught in the um, last lesson uh, that would work so mm, we in this case would be uh, wouldn't um, so as I've just pronounced um, the left side, uh, um, the kanji that I provided is pronounced wui. Again, wui. So, um, in this case, I would say first you would pronounce the, the sound wu, wu, like John wu, 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 and then in the end just add the i sound or e. Um, so, in the end, you would have. Wu e, so if you pronounce it faster, it would it would sound like wu e, wu e, which is the pronunciation of uh, 
will or would um, for Cantonese. So the examples that I have provided in this case is um, O Ui Ho Sang Ho. So uh, what this means in in, can, in Cantonese is uh, I will go to school. So some of these kanji you have learned before, such as Ngo is uh, me or I, and then Ho means um, to go, right? Sang uh, Ho actually is uh, uh, to school. So overall, all Woi Ho Sang Ho means I will go to school. So again, this is uh, not a verb. It is something to um, to describe in a sense of uh, you're in the process of an action. So um, let's say uh, a, a, a perfect example would be one of the verbs that I that I taught you um, on the previous slides, which is to go. So um, it is ho in uh, Cantonese, right? So you would put this, uh, like the completed uh, one that I have in the previous slide, you would put it after the verb. So like, let's say um, uh, going, uh, you would have ho, and then you would add this in the end, which is the same pronunciation as the English word gun. Yes, the gun. So uh, the, on the left hand side is the kanji, which is probably a bit hard to write um, right now, but uh, the pronunciation is very simple, which is gun, gun, gun. Um, so, uh, like, let's say in the example of um, my last one, which is um, uh, to uh, going. So, um, you would know that the that the pronunciation with go is hoi, right? We just we just uh, taught you that uh, I think a few minutes ago. So um, for going, we would add this uh, kanji after the the kanji go, and for going, we would have hoi an. So the example that I provided again has um, a verb that I will teach you a bit later in these courses, and it's the uh, and uh, it's called dang, dang, and uh, with this, it's uh, with this uh, candy that I taught you. We add to the end of this verb. It's called dang gan, dang gan. So what this means, right? Um, it means uh, waiting. So you're in the process of waiting. That's what it. So now um, for the verb to leave, um, as you see it's the kanji on your left hand side, uh, like all of the kanjis that I have shown you for the previous slides, um, and it is pronounced zhao, again, uh, it's pronounced zhao. Um, so uh, English pronoun English alphabet representation I have kind of written as T S O or so 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 like as I said before O should pronounce um, O in this case just for the sense of um, helping you for uh, how to pronounce this and then in the end we should have uh, the pronunciation of U as U so um, it would slowly it would be probably like so so and if we set it faster it'll be zhao zhao now um, there are not many examples uh, for this um, so uh, the best example that I can probably provide right now is a very simple one which is called no zhao which means I am I leave which usually you would say this as if you are having a quarrel with someone in a room and then you say I'm leaving and then you'd be like you'd say
So um, I think before anything, I have to um, emphasize that uh, the the verb, uh, the Cantonese verb, is not describing fully of what live is. So it's more of um, living in something, so or residing, like let's say residing in a house, living on the beach that kind of live so like, let's say living the life um, this can you uh, this Cantonese verb wouldn't be the same as that live right so this is more of like um, I'm living in a house I'm living in a condo that's what this uh, uh, verb is all about uh, so in um, Cantonese uh, it's actually pronounced ju is Ju. Now um, the English representation is more of like uh, T S U. So now uh, you, um, I would like you to pronounce in the sound of U, U, U. And then uh, now if you add the the T, T like uh, 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 you know how um, the uh, the English pronunciation of what the big last names in uh, of Chinese last names is T, right? So the T S T, the sound added to the uh, sound of U would be what this verb would sound like, which is Qu. Qu. So um, the the real sound is actually called Ju, but it's it's um, similar enough. Uh, so uh, the example that I've provided is no ju hai okay, which means I'm living at home, um, uh, where ju uh, is uh, the verb for uh, uh, live, live, and hai, uh, uh, as I said from the previous um, uh, lecture, it means it's a verb for to be. So, I'm living at home is all ju hai okay, where okay is, uh, uh, is home in Cantonese. To say or to speak um, in Cantonese it is pronounced gong. Again, uh, uh, it is pronounced gong, which is quite similar to the pronunciation of G O N G, which is, I believe in English, you would pronounce this as gong, which is quite similar. I, I would make that a pass um, for, for the pronunciation of this Cantonese verb. Um, so, an example um, uh, that I've provided would be uh, uh, here it would be lei gong dai wa. So, Lei is uh, um, the it's, it's the is uh, similar in as in you. So and dai wa means uh, lies. It's, uh, so lei gong dai wa, in this sense, is the Cantonese sentence for you are lying. Um, if you're not familiar with uh, uh, you no know, I you they, uh, which is uh, uh, lei or lei they. Those things, maybe you would like to look at my um, Cantonese beginners app as I've uh, provided some information in the beginning of this lecture. Uh, there, you would uh, see how all of these are being pronounced in the Cantonese language. So, the last verb for this lecture. And it is the verb to see. Uh, the pronunciation for uh, the verb to see in Cantonese is tai. Again, uh, the verb uh, is pronounced tai. So, um, the English pronunciation, uh, well, um, for uh, alphabet representation, um, for the TA, we would like you to pronounce um, the sound of TA. So, and then in the end, for the double I, just pronounce the sound of 
E like double E's. Um, so if you slap them all together, um, slowly it will pronounce to be Tai, Tai, and faster would just like would be just like the sound of this Cantonese word, which is Tai, Tai. So um, an example would be Tai Din Si, where um, Din Si is uh, TV in Cantonese. So overall, what this meant means uh, uh, watching the television. And yes, uh, this verb is the same as watch as well. Um, see and watch, which is anything to do with um, looking at stuff with your eyes. This concludes our lecture. Thank you for your listening. Remember, like us or subscribe to our channel for more updates on our lecture materials. Also, download our free app for your iPhone or Android if you have not already done so for flashcards and quizzes that are related to this lecture. Also check out our website um, as shown in our video description on YouTube for apps and lectures for other units. Thank you. Bye-bye.